August began with some unsettled weather, but a southerly feed of hot and humid air brought some very high temperatures across southeast England. Although there was some showery rain in the first few days, the rest of August was generally quieter weather-wise, with temperatures near average. The provisional UK mean temperature was 15.6 degrees Celsius, which is 0.7 degrees Celsius above the 1981 to 2010 average. It was also the driest August since 2003, with 80% of the average rainfall. Let's take a closer look at the weather that defined August and some of the pictures you've sent in. August began with high temperatures in central and southeast England. Temperatures on the 1st of August reached 31 to 32 degrees Celsius, which is hotter than during the recent July heat wave. Heathrow reached 34.1 degrees Celsius and many stations recorded their highest temperature of the year. There was then a move to more unsettled conditions, with Porth Maddock recording 61 millimetres of rain on the 4th and Bulmer in Northumberland recording 39 millimetres on the 5th. Later in the month it was windy for Scotland, with a highest gust of 52 miles an hour at Loch Glasscarnock on the 17th. High pressure edged in from the southwest on the 19th, bringing drier and more settled conditions. However, this was short lived as an area of low pressure replaced this to bring unsettled weather. Shoebury Ness saw 58 millimetres of rain on the 24th, with much of this falling during a four hour spell in the afternoon. So, where were the warmest, coldest, wettest, and windiest places during August? The top temperature of the month was 34.1 degrees Celsius, recorded at Heathrow on the 1st. That was the highest UK temperature since July 2006. In contrast, a minimum temperature of 0.2 degrees Celsius was recorded at Kinbrace on the 5th. Porth Maddox saw the most rainfall during the month with 61 millimetres on the 4th, and Needles Old Battery saw the strongest wind gust of 68 miles an hour on the 17th. Here are some of your August weather pictures you sent in through Twitter. Send us your photos of September weather and you could feature in next month's summary video.